Hi everyone and uh, welcome back to the Western Centurion channel. As I uh, told you in my last video regarding the window where I was a little bit upset and needed something to cheer me up and uh, my wife lent me some money to buy um, a little cheer me up gift from E Hattons and well here it is. The United Dairies Milk Tanker six wheeled version. Uh, part number 4F031020 United Dairies Milk Tanker Weathered Fabulous It looks absolutely perfect and something that I've been uh, looking to get for a long time but generally when I look for them uh, on the internet they're sold out and on eBay ooh, quite extortionate Four to 15, 14 to 15 pounds plus postage on top now these are from E Hattons at £12 each and uh, £4 postage. Uh, a result. So there's one. There's two. <laughs> there's three. You didn't think just one would cheer me up, did you? No, three. Absolutely brilliant. But hey, you're talking about Western Centurion here. Even three's not enough. So how about five? Oh hell, why not six? Or seven? Eight? Nine? Sod it. Let's go for the tenth. So yes, brought ten United Dairy six-wheeled milk tankers. Now that did cheer me up. Give me a great big smile. Not sure if uh, Debbie's got a big smile on her face at the moment, but I will be paying her back £12 a month for the next 10 months, shall we say. But they are lovely, really well detailed. Um, I haven't even had them out of the box yet, so this review is going to be rather interesting for you. I hope they all stay together and don't fall apart. So um, let me clear these out of the way and we'll get started. Okay, so here we are. I've got the uh, tanker out the box. I'll bring her up for a bit of a close up. And the first thing you can see is how the um, the writing is real crisp and clear, with only just a smidgen of um, weathering, actually, on the tank itself. As we go down to the axles, the weathering gets a lot heavier. And I hope you can pick out the uh, rivet details, which are fantastic. And the brake shoes, I'm having trouble seeing from here on the camera, but yes, see the brake shoes as well. And the leaves for the springs on the suspension um, NEM couplings it's pretty much standard now isn't it the little valve on the end draining the tank in fact there's a valve on both ends It's the top of the tank. Right. The reason why I like these so much is because they're still part of the history of, for me, Wilton Bassett. Because obviously where I worked, as I explained in one of my previous videos, um, was St Ival. And previous to that, it was United uh, Unigate Dairies, and then at the start, it was United Dairies back in the 1930s. So, what I'll put up now will be um, a photograph of what the United Dairies and Wooden Bassett was like, and it even has the milk tankers in place. So, that will be something I want to try and uh, model later on. Hence why I ended up buying 10 of these in one go. 
Um, I'll also do some uh, still photographs for you to get a bit more detail. All right. So, from me, thank you very much for watching. Um, I hope you like this very short review. Not much to actually say about them, just to let you see. That's the main part. Okay, so enjoy the photographs that are coming up, and we'll see you again. Bye-bye.